Hey Life Groups, welcome to this week's content for your conversations. I'm very, very excited to share with you uh, the stuff that I spoke about this last Sunday. Uh, I trust that your, the conversation that come from the stuff that I'm going to share and the questions I'm going to pose for us this evening is going to be fruitful, is going to be um, community knitting, is going to be chest opening. Um, but I'm going to ask us to be brave this evening with the questions that I have and in opening up our chests. Because if you remember, I said the thing that makes life group work is not necessarily how amazing life group is made by the leader. That's a part of it. But actually, when you and I choose to open up our chests uh, and be vulnerable, that's when life group begins to work because we stand together as a community. But I get to wrap up our confidence series for us today. Uh, and if you were there on Sunday, I spoke about the principle of practice makes progress because practice does not make perfect because we can't do anything perfectly but we can progressively get better at the stuff that we choose to do and I asked who has played sports ever <laughs> or in high school um, and the, the idea of sports and the principle that's introduced within that is that you got to practice you got to practice the line that you need to run practice the way that you need to shoot the place that you need to stand how to play as a team the technique of playing that specific sport but we spend most of our time, 90% of our time, practicing, practicing, practicing. Then when it gets to playing time, it is so much easier for us to run that line, stand that way, shoot that way, um, play together, because we've practiced how to do it. 10% of, of uh, the, the thing about that sport is actually playing, and 90% is practice. And I want to introduce that principle into how you and I apply kingdom principles into our lives. I spoke about this idea of being confident enough to rest and celebrate despite the circumstances that we experience. Because for most of us in the, in the evening service, I asked them this, who's actually going through a difficult circumstance at present? And hands went up all across the room. We are, all of us, going through difficult circumstances. But how do we get to a point of being able to rest and or celebrate despite those circumstances? And I really think that it's when we practice kingdom principles that we can uh, rest or celebrate despite our circumstances. I read a portion of scripture in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 23 to 27. It says, Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came upon the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Even the winds and the waves obey him. That's a contrasting picture of what happens and stuff begins to come our way. The disciples hadn't practiced having faith because he just met them four chapters prior. But Jesus had been practicing being the Son of God his entire life. And even before he existed on earth, he had been the Son of God. And when stuff began to come at the boat, winds and waves, the storm blew, he could be confident enough to sleep in the boat. I'd love for us to get to a point in our own walk with God, in our own spaces, in our own circumstances, to have the confidence to sleep in our boat, no matter the things that are coming at us. The reason Jesus could do that is because he was confident in his Father. In the same way that you and I can be confident in God, we can be confident that he is faithful to complete the work that he has begun within us. We can be confident in our community, confident to know that God is in control, confident to know that He is a faithful God, that when we look back at the places and seasons we've gone past, we can see His faithfulness and we can be grateful that we get to do life with Him. That when we look ahead, we can look ahead with hope and um, joy and peace in our hearts, despite the circumstances that may come our way. But I don't want us to get to a point of being able to rest and or celebrate despite the circumstances that we experience. 
I said earlier that I asked the guys in the evening service, who's going through something at present? I would love for us to take a moment within our life groups to chat about that question or be brave enough to open up our chests. What's the one thing that you're going through at present? What's the painful moment? What's the wave that's hitting your boat? What storm are you in at present? And if you, you guys can pray together as a life group over those circumstances, that would be amazing. But can we be brave for a few minutes and just chat about what are we going through? Where are we at? So that we know how we can begin to move forward together. I'm going to give you guys a moment to chat. Amazing. The second thing that I want to speak about, or a question I want to pose to us this, this evening. Over the past six weeks, there have been principles that we've spoken about, and I've listed them. So confidence in God. Confident to know that there are, He is faithful to complete the work that He begins within us. Confident in our community. Confident to know that He's in control. Confident to know that He is faithful as we look back and be grateful at the seasons that He's brought us through. That we can look forward with hope in our eyes. Which of those specific principles can you begin to put into practice right now? And specifically relating to the circumstance, relating to the difficulty, relating to the storm that you might find yourself in. Which of those principles can you begin to put into practice? And if you're there uh, the, today and you're not going through anything difficult, you're, you're not necessarily in a storm, same question. Which of those principles can you then begin to put into practice? Because here's the thing, we need to practice kingdom principles that our spirit can so resonate with that thing, can so have that ingrained in our DNA that when stuff happens, when the storm, storms come and the winds blow, we can sleep in our boat because deep within our spirit is where we live from. We don't necessarily live in our reality, but we live from our spirit that we can be confident to sleep, confident to rest and or celebrate in the middle of our storm because we are confident in who is with us. So as a life group, won't you guys just take a moment to chat about that? Which of those principles specifically spoke to you, whether you're going through a difficult circumstance or not, that you might begin to put into practice? And a step further than that is, what's the one thing you can then do to put that principle into practice this week. Just one thing that you can do to put that principle into practice. Have a quick chat and I'll see you in a minute. Lovely. <laughs> Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. I don't want us to get to a point where life group is beautiful and then we just get back into the hustle and bustle of life. But actually, I want us to be incredibly intentional that when we leave today, we can leave and, th and think about the things that we spoke about. Okay, uh, this principle specifically spoke to me. And here's the one step that I'm going to take to put that principle into practice. And then we just wake up and do it. The Bible tells, tells us that we need to pick up our cross daily and follow Jesus. Make that your daily routine. I'm going to pick up this cross of this principle and apply it to my life daily. Just one step. One step. Just practice, practice, practice. And if you're in the middle of a storm, your life group is there to stand with you as you begin to put your principle into practice. And you watch as you begin to speak to the winds and the waves with the authority given to you by Jesus and God himself, that they will be completely calm. But we get to rest and or celebrate despite our circumstances when we put kingdom principles into our behavior. That when stuff happens, we don't have to think about the thing that we need to do that will help us get through that circumstance. But it's so ingrained in our DNA that we can rest and or sleep. And if required, we will rebuke the winds and the waves and they will have to submit to the power and to the name of Jesus. It's been lovely being with you, however, through a screen. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing time together. I'll catch you guys next week.